If you're new around here, please hit the subscribe button below and don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel to grow. Uh, more importantly, please enjoy. Thank you. Hello guys, welcome to Irish Footy Vlogs and today we're going to take a look at the 10 young players to watch for 2020. So let's get straight into this. Number 10 is Regix Madika from Waterford FC. Now Regix is a big powerful player. He can play on the wing, he can play up front. He's powerful and he's got pace. A uh, very direct player. He was part of Waterford FC's under-19 squad last season for the majority of the season, but came in later on for the senior side. He appeared on the bench mostly as the season went on, but um, he did score for the senior side against Hearts in the Challenge Cup in a 3-1 win uh, back in September. So um, he's one to watch as we come into the new season because... Um, you know, he's obviously training with the first team now in pre-season and he'll, he'll get his opportunity. Waterford have lost a lot of players. Yes, they've brought in a lot of players as well. But um, with him, he's probably one of the players that's been, you know, there for the whole of pre-season. Um, might give him an advantage. And I can see Regix getting some game time for Waterford next season. And if he does that, he's only a youngster. He may well uh, establish himself in the Warford team. So coming in at number 10, Regix Madika. Coming in at number 9 is Dawson Devoy of Bohemians. Now Dawson featured for the under-19s mainly last season for Bohemians, but um, he later came into the Bohemian senior team where he made six appearances for the Gypsies in 2019. Um, so he was 17 for most of the season as well. He turned down a move to Watford in November as well. So uh, interesting that he stayed. At, he decided to stay at Daily Mount Park. Um, recently in a friendly against Longford Town, he came on as a second half substitute. So obviously uh, Keith Long has got plans for Dawson going into next season. I know my, many Bohemians fans have been waxing lyrical about Dawson as well, but he's a player, he's, he's very comfortable playing the number 10 slot and either flank now, Bohemians have a lot of competition in those positions, the likes of Danny Grant, Andrew, etc., etc. But, um, you know, his um, appearance count and bench count last season, at the end of last season, would suggest that he will get more game time. It's such a long season now as well that um, I can see Dawson get some games. And if he can get into that Bohemians team and make an impact at such a young age, at 18 as well, he's definitely one to watch. So... And number nine, Dawson Devoy, Bohemians. And number eight is Jamie Brown of Finn Harps. Now, Jamie Brown is a, a young striker. He was top scorer to Finn Harps on the 19s last season, where he scored 13 goals. Um, he's been rewarded with a senior contract for the 2020 season uh, under Ollie Horgan. So um, he's a player that played in the recent friendly against Derry City. He got 68 minutes as well. So a real opportunity for Jamie Brown to give himself an opportunity to establish himself as Finn Harp's number one striker. Um, added to the fact that Nathan Boyle, their main striker, left the club in pre-season. And there is a serious opening for Jamie Brown. And um, I think he's a player we might hear a lot more of uh, going into the 2020 season. And if Finn Harps are going to survive... I'm not putting too much pressure on the young lad, but um, he could be the difference between them surviving and going down if he manages to get goals there. So definitely one to watch is Jamie Brown. Now, one of the few players, number seven, John Mahan, I should probably say before we start, but he's one of the few players on the list who is an established first team player. John Mahan made 34 appearances um, in the league for Sligo Rovers last season. Um, the central defender is only 20 years of age, but um, it feels like he's around a couple... He obviously is around a few years of Sligo. Uh, very promising central defender, but um, I feel that this season could be a big season for him to actually push on even further and develop more as a player. As I said, he is only 20. He had a huge season last season where he did play all those matches for Sligo, getting that experience. I think now he can push on more. Um, if he can keep an upward curve, I certainly think we'll be talking about John Mahan by the end of the season, has been one of the best central defenders in this league. So definitely John Mahan is one to keep an eye on, and he comes in at number seven. Now at number six, we have another established player, <coughs> as I choke, and that's Jamie Lennon of St. Patrick's Athletic. Now it's hard to believe Lennon's been around a few seasons in that midfield for Pats. He's only 21 years of age. 
Um, he's a mid real midfield anchor man though, and he's got a good pa- good passing ability. I think this season though, it, similar to Mahan, is going to be huge for him, and I think he can really prosper and develop under Stephen O'Donnell this season, particularly if Pats go well. He made twenty eight appearances for the Saints last season, um, anchoring that midfield for the Inchicore outfit. He, I think, the addition of Robbie Benson at St. Pat's will actually help him to flourish as well. When you get players like that in and around you, um, he suddenly doesn't become maybe the main focus, if you like, there as well. So I definitely think Jamie Lennon is a player to watch out for next season, this season really at this stage, isn't it? At only 21, I really think he can push on and blossom in that Pat's midfield. And, um, you know, Jamie Lennon is one to watch. Now into the top five now, and number five I've got Dean Williams of Shamrock Rovers. Um, Dean Williams is only 19 years of age, although by the time the season begins he'll just have turned 20. He had two loan spells last season at Lone Town and Bray Wanderers in the first division where he scored 15 goals and 25 appearances over both spells, so he has an eye for a goal. Um, of course it's a big difference stepping up and playing for Shamrock Rovers in the Premier Division, but at the same time he's playing with better players around him. Um, interestingly enough, he has appeared in the previous season friendlies for the Hoops, and that's something he looked to build on. I mean, Shamrock Rovers fans say that um, obviously Aaron Green done well for them last season, but they have a lack of options up front. It's very possible that they have another good option on their doorstep as well, without having to go into the market. Um, I would suggest he's going to be used certainly for by the first team squad because he's been used in preseason friendlies and he is definitely one to watch going into next season. Now number four I've gone for Denzel Fernandez of Shelburne. Now Shelburne have a number of players who are very good young prospects, but um most will realise the potential Jason Cabilla, so I didn't put him in this list because of that. Um, but Fernandez came from Cove Ramblers midway through last season, similar to Cabilla, and um, his style is of an old-fashioned winger. Um, doesn't score too many goals, I suppose. I think he only scored three goals for uh, Cove Ramblers last season. I managed to get one for Shelburne um, in five appearances for Shelburne, 14 for Finn Harps or for Cove Ramblers. But um, I think he he is a winger that kind of gets to the byline, gets crosses into the box. So he's not so much a goal scoring winger, but more of a byline winger who gets crosses into the box. And that suits someone like Karen Kilduff, who um, you know is obviously very good in the air. So Denzel is twenty one years of age, and I think he could take the league by storm. He'll obviously be new to a lot of people as well, so a lot of people won't know an awful lot about him. But by the end of the season, um, I think you will be talking about him doing well for the Talca Park outfit. And um, as I said, Sheldon with a number of prospects. But um, I thought Denzel might be the one that uh, is one of the least talked about. So Denzel Fernandez comes in at number four. Now, number three, I've gone for Neil Ferrugia from Shamrock Rovers. Now, he is a player with a, a big reputation. He was part of Stephen Kenny's Irish under-21 squad on numerous occasions. A very talented squad, I might add, as well. And he joined from UCD in mid-2019. Now, he's he's made 18 appearances for UCD, but he hasn't made that many appearances for Shamrock Rovers, to be fair. I think he's only made three appearances in the league itself. So he's finding it difficult, I suppose, to adjust and break through a Shamrock Rovers side that is a very good side, remember, as well. He's a play, he can play in a number of positions, really, mainly on the wing, predominantly left wing, but he can also play in the right wing and play behind a striker, to be honest, as well. So there's another number of roles he could fulfil for Rovers. He's only 20 years of age as well, so I think if he can get in this season, and obviously the re-rotation that Rovers team as well, and he's coming in you know, at the start of the season, and from a pre-season perspective that he didn't have last season as well. So I think um, he's definitely a very talented young player. And um, I think he could well make a big impact this season. It's a, In a way, it's a big season for him because obviously if he doesn't get too much game time with the Rovers side, um, then I suppose he'd be questioned, you know, should he leave the club to get first team football? But it's a big, big season for Mil Farouja. I do have him at number three because I do believe if he gets in at Rovers, he'll make a big impact. And if he's making a big impact at Rovers, 
Um, there's a good chance it's been reasonably successful. So for me, Neil Farouja comes in at number three. Another gypsy coming on this list, and that's Andy Lyons of Bohemians. And for a number of reasons, he's number two. Um, he was linked with a move with Crystal Palace very recently, only a few weeks ago. And I believe that Palace just didn't pay the fee that Bohemians wanted. And fair play for Bohemians for not looking to be cheapskated, basically. Um, but also, there's an opportunity for him to get into the team this season. With Derry Pender retiring, um, there's a slot there. And Andy Lyons is a very dynamic right back. He's only 19 years of age. So there's clearly a slot for him immediately now to get into the team. Um, that said, he made 14 league appearances last season. But obviously, this season, he's going to be more of a permanent fixture. And he's likened to, to kind of Derry Leahy, actually, who left for Dundalk, but on the right-hand side. So he'll add energy to that position. And arguably, I know Pender was a fan favourite at Bowles, but um, obviously older now as well. Maybe one of the reasons Pender retired as well is he feels that it's time for Lyons to take that right-back berth, and he should be taking that right-back berth. So um, he's going to be an interesting uh, player for the Fibsborough outfit this season. And uh, another young player coming through at Daily Mount to really, really keep an eye on. And they'll be hoping to keep him though for the full season and not to lose him in the summer window. So uh, keep an eye out for Andy Lyons this season. And he comes in at number two on the list. Now, well, number one on, on my list of the top 10 young players to watch out for this season is Stephen Mallon of Derry City. Um, if I haven't mentioned already, I actually I love Declan Devine. I think he's absolutely superb. He's brilliant. He's... Uh, very shrewd in the transfer market and that leads on nicely to what he done if we go back to 2019 last season at the start of the season he brought in junior on loan from colchester and he brought david parkes on loan from sheffield united now junior ended up finishing top scoring the league with 14 goals and parkes scored 18 goals in total last season 11 in the league parkes came on loan from sheffield united stephen mallon is now on loan come to Derry City from Sheffield United on loan and he's been brilliant in pre-season. He scored against Finn Harps in the last match. I saw him up in Drogheda. Uh, very skillful winger. He's got a good close control. Can make those, um, you know, very good at dribbling with the ball. He played left wing the day I saw him, but he moved to the right as well. So he can play, clearly play in those positions. Looks like a player who can play number 10 as well. Very creative Likes to have a shot at the same time. Very busy player. Um, got a bit of pace about him as well. So I think Devine has done it again, to be honest with you here, with another loanee coming to, to Derry City. And Stephen Mallon, I've no doubt, by the end of the season, people will be talking about him the same way they talked about Parkhouse and Junior, if not even more so. So, yeah, I've gone for Stephen Mallon. Uh, number one on my list. Um, what do you think of the list? Do you agree with the list? Um, is there anyone else? There's plenty of young players because um, I, you know, I didn't just come up with ten players. I've I short list of twenty players and whittled them down. To be honest, but who else do you think deserves to be on the list? Who who are the players? One or two players you think are ones to watch? They're pretty much twenty one or under going into next season, and um, that's about it, guys. Like subscribe. If you're new around here, please subscribe um, and keep an eye on more videos. I've got match vlogs coming up on Tuesday, Drotter playing, Bohemians, and I might be on my way to Oriel Park on Thursday as well. Not sure yet, but definitely going to Drotter on Tuesday to see them take on Bohemians. So plenty of stuff coming up. And the season hasn't even started. So, um, yeah, enjoy doing the list and um, take it easy, guys. Good luck.